morning. My name is Lisa Welland. I live in Vista. Uh, I grew up in Borrego Springs. My stopping grounds included Julian, Ranchito, Warner Springs, San Isabel, and Ramona. I used to be more familiar with dirt roads than freeways, and it's a big part of who I am. I understand that we need well-maintained roads, but I don't believe that we need to expand them. I'm married to a former U.S. Air Force flight engineer, which meant not being able to live in San Diego, there are no Air Force bases, and you can imagine that when we finally had the chance to move back, we did, and raised our two daughters in the beautiful city of Vista these last 15 years. I was a paralegal, and then worked for a number of years as the director of religious education at a church in Vista. I'm here to speak in opposition to this ballot measure. I have a slide that shows our current San Diego Ford plan, solid line, greenhouse gas emissions over time through 2050. This data is from SANDAC's environmental impact report. The dotted lines are the greenhouse gas reduction targets by two governor's executive orders. I'd like to ask um, if you could show me on this graph where this ballot measure puts, puts us. Does it bridge the gap? As a resident, property owner, and taxpayer, I'm asking if there's someone who can get that information for me. Can there be more transparency on that? 44% of greenhouse gas emissions come from cars and light duty trucks. 69% of residents in San Diego County work outside the subregion sub they live in. This means that transit solutions apply to all of the county. In fact, that statistics point, points us to where we need solutions, and it's not a wider free day, freeway. I've heard it said by staff and board members okay. this measure is I got to, I'm going to have to remind you our last best chance at getting a ballot measure passed. This is our Thank best you. shot at more transit. Thank Thank you. Thank you. I've got to say, no way is it, it can't be. The okay, I'm going to ask. Deserve an agency and board of directors that can address challenges as they come up. You're done. I'm going to ask for cooperation. Let me uh, share something with you. The chart that's up there, there isn't any county in California that would be meeting those requirements. And the reason why, this is what our plan does. What we are doing is a small part of what is happening in this state. I spent all day yesterday in a meeting in Sacramento going over greenhouse gas and the what we are doing with the hundreds of millions of dollars that are coming in from the cap and trade program. If you looked in isolation at any county, you'd probably find something that looks similar because it doesn't take into account that the fact of the matter is the big regulations that are affecting us are coming from the state. And to expect San Diego County with its, our, its regional transportation plan to meet this is not understanding the playing field at all. With that, we'll continue with the next speaker, please. Hi, I'm Jean Peterson and I live in La Mesa. And um, just to dovetail into um, <clears throat> what the speaker was just saying, um, just because other counties are not able to meet these um, targets does not mean that we shouldn't do our absolute best to meet these targets. 